As we head into the peak of hurricane season, there are new warnings about the levee system surrounding New Orleans. Federal authorities know that more construction is needed. And while some of that work is underway, artists, activists and neighbors are sounding even louder alarms about the threat to a region that still hasn't forgotten the devastation of Katrina. Investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein explains. It's the North Breach and the South Breach on, well, the Inner Harbor Navigational Canal post Katrina. Jennifer Blanchard is an artist. One of her projects is a tribute to the victims of Hurricane Katrina. So she visited some of the Lower Ninth Ward flood walls that failed during the storm, sending a deadly wall of water into the neighborhood. I came out here to look for um, inspiration for an art project that I'm working on. What Blanchard saw provided more than inspiration. It sparked concern. Blanchard found flood protection authority workers inspecting a gap in the flood wall. And when I walked up, they were pointing at this crack in the levee wall. And so you could see there's probably a three inch gap where the wall has um, leaned away. A couple of weeks later, she found the gap had been filled. With her degree in geochemistry, Blanchard began researching the $14 billion worth of upgrades to the system since Katrina and came away with questions about its integrity. This to me is not an efficient repair of this flood wall. Um, if the water levels were to get to that height again, this could be a potential um, fault in the system. She is not alone. Her concerns are being shared at the highest levels of the federal government. The Army Corps of Engineers, architects of the flood protection system, posted this notice in the Federal Register in April. The re-engineered levees are sinking, requiring more work much sooner than expected to keep the system within the risk posed by a 100-year storm. That 100-year standard is critical because that's what qualifies property owners for flood insurance. But instead of keeping the region in compliance for an estimated 50 years, the levees may fall out of compliance in four years. The warning has received attention from Louisiana's senior U.S. Senator, as did the flood wall gap noticed by Blanchard. We've already spoken to the Corps about this particular point. They know we're concerned and they're getting more information back to us. On the other side of town, in Lakeview, residents near the catastrophic collapse of the 17th Street Canal have been monitoring their own canary in a coal mine. It's clearly leaking through and the question is why aren't they willing to do what needs to be done to keep water on that side of the wall. From his house, Brett Downs can see water seeping to the surface at the very spot where the flood walls collapsed during Katrina. There has been periodic drainage work at the site, but during one of the driest stretches of this summer, we still found water. With unlimited resources, I refuse to believe they can't fix it. If this was happening in the French Quarter, it would get fixed, guaranteed. Flood protection authorities insist that the flood wall is not compromised by the seepage. But Lakeview resident Bob Romero does not like what he sees, especially since similar seepage was a warning sign ahead of Katrina. I'm very concerned there'll be water in the streets again because what I see here, and, and I know of this at, uh, being a sugarcane farmer, I know that this here looks like it could slough off. Entertainer and French Quarter resident Harry Shear says he was not surprised by the Army Corps of Engineers warning in the Federal Register. But he was surprised by some of the reasons the agency listed, including, quote, subsidence and sea level rise. Have they not been reading the papers and the scientific journals and the Internet? Did they not know that uh, sea level rise is, is accelerating? Shear produced the post-Katrina documentary, The Big Uneasy. His extensive yeah, research for the feature-length film made him wary of the Army Corps of Engineers. The recent red flags only intensified his feelings. We can't trust the Corps. The Corps is what almost killed us. They kept telling us how good the, the old system was until it turned out not to be a system. And then they went, oh, well, do we have a system now? The Corps claims that the region's hurricane protection system has never been stronger, especially with much of the $14 billion spent on blocking storm surge with gated pumps at the New Orleans outfall canals and the massive surge barrier in Lake Bourne, the largest civil engineering project in Corps history. To Shear, those standards are relative. They say New Orleans has never had better hurricane protection. Given the fact that the last one almost killed the city, that's the lowest bar imaginable. Can't they say anything better about it than that? 
Scheer says he is not being an alarmist, just a realist who knows the existential stakes for New Orleans are very steep if the system fails another test like Katrina. We know, I think, in our hearts and our bones that a lot of people in this city will not come back and do it again. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. Now it's important to note that many of the necessary levy lifts are already underway, especially on the West Bank, thanks to a millage that was approved by Jefferson Parish voters last year. But with the full price tag estimated at $800 million, yes, you heard me, much of that still has to be allocated by Congress. Even if the money's approved, the state of Louisiana then has to come up with its share, a 25% match, which is $200 million.